Hey folks, and welcome to episode 143 of the Phil Swallow podcast, recording on Wednesday the 19th of April 2023, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, The title of today's show is Crunching the Numbers. Uh, The reason for that is that uh, despite recently analysing my shorts, uh, I've now completed the 30 in 30 of my YouTube shorts. So I was just going to kind of share some numbers on uh, on how that went. Now, there's a lot of data collected for YouTube channels, and I'm not going to bore you with all of it. You'll be glad to hear. And even just analysing the, the shorts videos compared with others, because you can kind of filter those out, uh, you still can't choose just the ones that were in a certain date range, or at least I couldn't find an easy way of doing it. And others out there may know that there is an easy way of doing it. But because I launched this exercise, I wanted to do at least do some kind of analysis on, on how it worked. So the the numbers are in, they've been calculated. And uh, so I, as I say, this is for the period in question, but it will also include one or two of my shorts that I'd recorded previously that just happened to be viewed in that period. So anyway, so in that period, looking at my channel for short videos, uh, a total of 6,336 views. Uh, Of that, there were 19,928 shown in the YouTube shorts feed. So this is where YouTube says, oh, there's a new shorts video. We'll throw it into that kind of funnel channel uh, flow of YouTube shorts that are being done everywhere. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll pick up some engagement somewhere along the line. That probably works really well when you are looking at uh, a viral type video, something that may hook. Uh, I'm not in that real business, to be honest. So I believe that there's more value out of mine you know, just by by being searched for, which I kind of mentioned in the uh, the other episode. So I'll go through the numbers again, and then some other kind of stat-related things I wanted to share with you. Uh, So 271 likes in that period, not bad. I mean, I don't know how these compare really, but um, reasonable numbers. 32 shares, so the videos were shared 32 times. I, I couldn't see detail of how or where, but at least they've been shared. Someone thought, oh, you might want to see this. So they put it into their feed or whatever. So or somehow shared it. Uh, I gained 10 new subscribers via my shorts videos in that time. It's not bad. I'm going to talk about subscribers again in a minute. My bullet points aren't always in the right order of how I actually deliver them. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk about that. The most views in that period were of my Henry VIII in Addington video. 895 views in that period. And it's still keeps ticking over. Um, So I guess because that's a probably quite a big searchable term and maybe people didn't realise there was any connectivity between King Henry VIII and Addington, local area. So hopefully my little, you know, 58 seconds, 59 seconds, whatever, will have educated and informed to a degree there. Uh, So 3,737... A light's just gone out here. What's going on? (laughs) I'm going to leave that in. I, I, this is my second light, which I kind of brought in recently. Maybe it should run off the mains. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm not put off at all. 3,737 views via the shorts feed. Uh, So that's 19,928 was shown, of which 3,737 people actually viewed it via that that method, uh, 975 via YouTube search. So as I just said, this, this is kind of my preferred way. The stuff that I generally do day in, day out is rarely related to events that are happening here and now. They're not topical as such. They might occasionally be, and it might just be by luck, more luck than judgment. Um, so You know, that 975 from a YouTube search that people were looking for the content and found it is actually quite important to me and for the stuff that I normally do, the longer form stuff. Uh, Ten different countries uh, looked, people from ten different countries looked at the video. And of the number that uh, actually 
uh, viewed them of that 6336 views. Uh, 5,221 were not subscribed to my channel, which is quite good, I think. And 1,115 were subscribed. So, uh, yeah, that's um, and a quite an interesting set. As I say, nothing to compare it with, but it does show you that just by kind of putting focus on that period where literally short-form videos were the main thing I was doing. I mean, I did have a bit of COVID at the beginning and one thing and another. Uh, but, yes, it's, um, it's I've parked that now. They've finished, and I'm going back to my long-form stuff. And if the weather behaved, uh, I'd been out there now probably because my big, big one is – really pretty much good to go. Uh, but anyway, that's that's by the by. Now, I, my whilst I've called this episode Crunching the Numbers, one of the working titles I had a couple of days ago was, uh, was it something I said? Because there was the most weird behaviour in the subscriber numbers for my channel. So a couple of weeks back now, when I met up with a um, previous work colleague on the Monday in London, I remember that my Numbers then were 717 subscribers. And a day later, there were 719. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. And I think they stay like that for, oh, blimey, five days or something. And then they went down, 718. Uh, and then they went up again. And then they went down again. And then they went up again and went down by two. And they were all over the place, which is why I thought, is it something I've said? Um, now, for, just for completeness, they're up to 723 today. And they've actually ticked up a couple of times in the last couple of days uh, because people have just been searching for the content and finding it. Um, it may never be possible to get that full detail of what you'd like to know what drives people to subscribe to your channel. Uh, I mean, I, it's something I pursue. That light's gone again. Let me just tap it. I'm going to switch it off. So maybe it's... Right. Sorry for those who've just got the audio version. I've just switched the light off. There you go. Look at it on YouTube and you can see it there. Because I'm still dual posting this. So, yes, very, very odd numbers. And also, actually, within those numbers, some strange behaviours. Because uh, YouTube doesn't now publish if people dislike a video. Uh, but the dislike button is still there. Now, I, I have disliked one or two in the past for good reasons, I think. But generally, if I don't like it, I just won't hit like. And if I like it, I'll like it. Um, it's one of those things you do, you know, put myself out there, people like it, I don't like it. Uh, I think the football one, people will dislike it if they don't support my team. Um, but I, I just thought it was a bit odd for things like the Catrum Air Raid Shelter short. There were two dislikes within three days of it going up. But it had been heavily pushed by YouTube. I think it's had three or 400 views or pushes. Um, actually, one of the interesting stats, which I, I forgot to mention earlier, so for each short video, it mentions whether someone looked at the video or swiped away. And broadly, the numbers was something like 29% of my videos are watched and 71% are swiped away. Uh, and again, that's because you're thumbing through the shorts feed, looking at videos that you might engage with Again, you know, the viral types perhaps, because viral videos will obviously make money for YouTubers as, as much as the person who puts them out there, ultimately. Um, and, yeah, so it, it, that's that viral – sorry, excuse me, not that viral count. Uh, but that number is is fair enough, really. You know, I'm between a quarter and a third, roughly. So it's um, – I'm not going to worry about these numbers. You know, this was something I decided to do. And I still think that having finished that now, put it down, walked away and used the content and the subject matter for the stuff that I typically do in longer form videos, I believe now I've got 30 adverts for what I do on the channel. And people will always kind of be drawn to the short form. I mean, they if I'm just looking through my own YouTube uh, page with the various subscriptions that I have and videos that YouTube offers. My shorts are often in there. My, my short, you know, my short videos. Um, be weird if my shorts were in there. So uh, yes, it's uh, it, they're out there. And um, now my focus is back on obviously this podcast, which I do regularly, uh, but also going back to the longer form. And I've got some nice ideas about <clears throat> in the 
in the better weather, when it eventually comes about some of the areas I can go to visit and do some full 360 videos, the like of which I've done just the one so far on YouTube, but also my usual content. So that's all about the numbers. Hopefully you're still with me. Um, now, other things. So I mentioned about the weather. Yes. Yeah, so we had spring on Monday of this week. That was really quite pleasant. Uh, but after that, it's been pretty naff, windy, cool. Uh, I think we had a bit of rain and I think it might get a bit wet towards the end of this week, showery maybe. Um, I mean, it's kind of April weather, isn't it? Let's face it. Uh, we are an island and that's what we get. Put it all together and, and that's what you get. But uh, it's it should pick up soon, hopefully. And then I can get into what I call proper filming weather, which is always preferred when the conditions are settled. Um, now, that can be in terms of a consistent light level. I mean, bright with cloud cover is probably ideal because it's a fairly soft light. You don't have to worry about shadows and positioning as much. Uh, but I honestly don't mind. It, it's, it's picturesque if it's sunny as well. So um, I've got the content. I just need to get get backed up by the weather. So uh, holiday prep is going well. So we've got our big trip coming up soon, um, less than a month now. And I'll provide more details as we get nearer. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the prep's going well. We, we're looking at um, some of the options around, well, partly around gear that I'm going to take. I'm going to travel light-ish. Also looking at eSIMs, so putting an eSIM on your phone to actually be able to use the network while you're over there. And uh, one of our good friends uh, who's been out there recently to where we're going, uh, we're going to have a little kind of Zoom session because we couldn't find any space in the diary to get together. So we're going to have a little chat this afternoon to go over some kind of real world, you know, experiences of his trip so that I can build those into to our one. Um, so Sue and I are both going to join him and his wife on that this afternoon. Um the other thing that we did yesterday, and I don't know if it's possible to see, but just behind me there's some suit covers hanging up. Uh, we went shopping, big shopping. Uh, now, there's an element of formal wear required on this holiday. If I haven't mentioned it already, you can, might be able to guess the type of holiday it's going to be. And uh, over time, uh, let's just say I need a slightly different set of measurements to the clothes that I'm needing to wear on this trip. I'll let you draw the conclusions and fill in the blanks about what I'm, where I'm coming from there. Uh, so also not been shopping properly for about three years, you know, probably since pre-lockdown. And, uh, you know, there's still elements of the wardrobe back to the kind of office work style stuff. But uh, it was a really great, great trip. It was a tiring trip. We went over to Blue Water again. So it was 10-ish, about quarter past 20 past 10 till about gone four. And we had a nice Thai meal at Rose's Cafe, Rose's Thai Cafe, I think that's what it's called. Beautiful Thai food, absolutely beautiful. And we went to Marks and Spencer, but also went to some of the other shops uh, going, you know, stop, stop, walk, walk, go back to the car, go again. And I ended up with two suits, two additional pairs of kind of casual trousers, chino type trousers, uh, two short sleeve, three short sleeve casual shirts and a polo shirt. I think that was it clothes wise, but it obviously took a long time to actually get there. Um, very happy. I've been trying on the various combinations this morning, actually, to make sure they're all fine. Uh, still need to get some other couple of, another couple of bits. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're starting to get, get the kind of vibe going now. Sue was very good. She went off and did all her shop shopping, uh, clothes shopping for holiday early. Uh, I've just kind of left it a bit later, but not too late that if I find I've got a gap, I can't, I haven't got time to order it. So I have. So I do still feel that I'll be fairly organised with all of this. Uh, and we know the kind of temperature ranges and things like that. And obviously it'd be fairly consistent on the accommodation that we've got, which I'll talk about in due course. So yeah, that's all uh, very much part of our day at the moment uh, is to do that prep and get that right. Um, we did book some trips uh, last week, probably was after the last podcast we sat down. There are some places that you need to have a prearranged trip on where we're going, others where you can kind of make your own way around. And we sort of made those judgments and did the bookings. So, yeah, uh, long form filming is very much part and parcel. So I'm going to crack on with that, as I mentioned earlier, crack on with that going forward. Uh, Crystal Palace continue the march. So they got their third straight win on Saturday and a clean sheet. 
won 2 0 away at Southampton. That was brilliant. And uh, home to Everton, where they beat us quite heavily last year. So hopefully we'll get the get them back this Saturday. Um, and one other thing, it was quite nice. Oh, when I mentioned uh, we went out for a meal at uh, La Cucina in Oxted last week, and uh, one of the fr- friends who, who looks at the podcast said that he was uh, watching, listening to it uh, while he was hungry and ended up going out to the same restaurant and had a really fantastic meal. So that was good. Good to hear these little stories where people have kind of responded to some of the things that are covered here. So, um, but it is great. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back there again. So I believe that is it in terms of my agenda. Uh, I, if there's anything I've missed, I'll just roll it on to next week. So uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great week. And I will end there, episode 143 of the Phil Swallow podcast, and catch up with you next time.